Hello everyone, I am Saul Jimenez Sandoval, the Provost at Fresno State, and it's an honor to address you today, especially since April, it's National Poetry Month. The Fresno area is filled with many, many incredible poets that truly speak to what our life here in the Valley is all about. And a brief reflection of what poetry is begins with knowledge. And this knowledge is self-knowledge about yourself, but it truly translates into knowledge about the world. It's a poet who sits down and who reflects on past experiences. So the past is always together there with you. And it is together with you in a present moment that is filled with the potential of the future. And a poet always, always, always brings to mind one single concept. What am I going to write that later on I'm going to share with someone? Because within the inner core of what poetry is all about, it's this impulse that the poet has to contribute to a greater sense of community to contribute to who we are as a human species, to contribute to who we are as a community here in Fresno, and to reflect upon each other, and to reflect upon the bonds that tie us together, the bonds that bring us together, in order to then envision a future about what it is that we can become. How much stronger can we become? How much more accepting of each other can we become? How much more supportive can we become of each other, especially during these times? So I'll leave you with that concept. I'll leave you with the concept that poetry, it's the key that unlocks the possibilities for the present in relationship to a future grounded in a historical personal past. And with this, please enjoy Philip Levine and Benjamin Boone with their incredible fusion of both music and poetry in the next song called Our Valley. We don't see the ocean, not ever. But in July and August, when the worst heat seems to rise from the hard clay of this valley, you could be walking through a fig orchard when suddenly the wind cools. And for a moment, you get a whiff of salt. And in that moment, you can almost believe something is waiting beyond the Pacheco Pass. Something massive, irrational, and so powerful, even the mountains that rise east of here have no word for it. You probably think I'm nuts, saying the mountains have no word for ocean. But if you live here, you begin to believe they know everything. They maintain that huge silence we think of as divine. A silence that grows in autumn when snow falls slowly between the pines. And the wind dies to less than a whisper. And you can barely catch your breath because you're thrilled and terrified. You have to remember, this isn't your land. It belongs to no one, like the sea you once lived beside and thought was yours. Remember the small boats that bobbed out as the waves rode in, and the men who carved a living from it, only to find themselves carved down to nothing. Now you say, this is home. So go ahead, worship the mountains as they dissolve in dust. Wait on the wind, catch a scent of salt, call it our life. <laughs> 